Okay, this is a little tech support for Renee, or Teddy, or I don't know which name to use, so um, Teddy sounds cool, I'll use Teddy. So anyway, your problem is either in here or in here, okay? So um, pop this off, make sure that set screw is set for this, make sure this is tight, make sure the nozzle is tight, look at it visually. If it looks fine, if these look like they're mated together right, leave it alone, you're good. Uh, most likely you're good, but most likely 99% certain your problem is right here. So make sure this is all the way in. Do not over tighten. This is plastic. I think this is plastic. You will strip it if it's plastic. That might be metal in this one. I don't know. I think it's plastic. So watch you don't strip it when you put this coupler in here. Make sure these coupler tubes are fully inserted and not popping out because otherwise that will cause you a feed issue. But most likely your problem is either one of these bits here is loose. This here needs to be tightened up, or this brass wheel right here is not tight. You see how it's got a little grub screw on it? Okay. One of these grub screws, if there's two, yes, there's two, one here and one here, needs to be lined up with this flat spot. See that flat spot right there? That's critical. Let me get a better zoom here. There we go. Come on. Don't be a pest. So... You need to make sure that this grub screw is tight and lined up with this flat spot and that this grub screw is tight. Because if it's not, this brass wheel won't feed. It'll slip. And that'll cause the exact issue that you're seeing in your printer. Also, make sure this is tight. So make sure this screw is tight. Don't over tighten it, but just make sure it's, it's snug. And I believe there might be an adjustment on the end of this. I'm not sure, but make sure this, this, should, be, this should feel pretty tight when you squeeze that. And it should very obviously scrunch that plastic together when it feeds into the printer. But your problem is most likely right there. Because when you slow down, it's able to handle the feed rate. And 42 millimeters a second is not fast. Um, so you're having a feed issue. Make sure the, the teeth on that gear look okay. See how the teeth on that gear are nice and sharp? Okay, nice and crisp. Because um, that, that right there, the pressure from this gear to this wheel is what holds that filament and pushes it through the tube into the printer. Okay, so make sure this is fully seated. Don't over tighten it. Make sure these tube ends are fully seated. Make sure these grub screws are aligned with the flat. Well, the one is aligned with the flat spot, and that both of them are tight. Um, let's see what else. Uh, make sure this is tight. None of this should be loose, and this spring should have a lot of tension on it. It should, it should be a good squish when you press that. Um, make sure. See how it's fully seated in there. It's fully inserted. The coupler. Make sure the tube is fully inserted. And make sure your nozzle is nice and clean in there. Although I very much doubt that's the issue. I suspect exactly what I think. I think it's this right here. I think you have something loose here, something not right here. And that's what's causing your issue. Because you definitely have a feed rate issue. When you turn it down, you reduce the amount of force being applied and whatever slipping or loose or not working right is able to handle it. So Tighten all that up. You probably just have something loose.